the world is more endangered today than it has been in my lifetime. You have to respond to conditions that actually exist, that are a threat to the United States. The Iranians are a threat to us as well. And so this is an emergency. It's an emergency that we step up and deal with this axis of evil, China, Russia, Iran, because it's an immediate threat to the United States. Pete, the argument is that he is voicing what the defense and intelligence communities have been stating for a long time. The question is, will our administration respond accordingly? The problem is I have, I don't even want to say little, no faith in this administration to execute, no faith in Lloyd Austin at the Pentagon to put together a coherent military strategy. And then you just have targets in the region uh, and who are not deterring anything. This is the administration that was going to deter the Ukra Ukraine invasion, that was going to deter the Taliban from taking over Afghanistan. They're obsessed with climate, climatizing and climate change in the military. And then real threats pop up. And all they've done instead is drive Russia into the hands of China, empowered Iran with money and the capability to reach a nuclear bomb. Imagine if they had a bomb and what the situation would look like in that scenario. So it's good to have troops there if you're really going to deter. But if you're led by fools, which we, which we are right now, and I don't, I mean, Mitch McConnell could say that he's part of the same foreign policy consensus that brought us to this point, then it doesn't make you feel good about the situation we're in, even with all that combat power. And, Tammy, that's exactly the point, that apparently deterrence hasn't worked at all, given that just this morning our troops yet again were fired on. Well, look, and then you've got whether it's McConnell, people who've been in Washington for decades. And the answer has always been for decades, just stop Israel, just, you know, go in, then stop and withdraw, have a ceasefire, send in the aid. Uh, and it's over and over and over and over again. And this is what you end up getting. You get, you get an entity that believes the same damn thing's going to happen, and it encourages them. They push it further and further and further. And that's what we saw. I don't know, maybe Joe Biden would call what happened on the 7th a limited incursion. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But that is the problem. It's not just your opinion. What you stated is the world's opinion. And we saw that after Afghanistan was the panic with in Taiwan and other places about people feeling like they're on their own. And, oh, the joy of that. So is this a war with Hamas? Yes, but it's a proxy for Iran. We can't ignore that.